Who likes a good cold brew? Be it coffee or something else. Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. Today, as we search out blue in the rainbow, we are going to be looking at black bean. Black bean actually creates a few different colors depending upon lots of factors. But what I like to do, and something that I really like about black bean, is that it is a different process. So there are many processes in the world of natural dye. In terms of extraction, you can use heat, you can do echo dyeing, you can do solar dyeing, uh, you can do dip dyeing. But today, we're going to do a cold dye. It is a fermenting process where you'll see how black bean over a few days can create some really beautiful colors, one of which can be a blue. And I've successfully done this not only with textile, but also with papers. And I have some lovely shades of various depths of blue. If you thought green was tough, or let's say if I thought green was tough, let me tell you something. Blue is very rare in nature. So trying to find blue from natural resources can be a bit tricky. And although there are some big stars in the blue world, in the world of indigo and woad, if you want something that you can get a blue color from that's more accessible and certainly quite simple. That is a really good staple in your kitchen, especially if you make soups, black bean. And since you have to soak beans to use them in all kinds of recipes, some will even soak the beans and then use the wastewater as the dye material. And that is yet another way to be thinking about sustainability, reuse, and taking care of a way to use food waste. So, black beans, come with me. It's time to get soaking and see what you're gonna do for us. And if you missed last week, we looked at green, and we did that with spinach. So, have a look back through some of the other colors and some of the other videos if you want to see different ways to make various colors in the rainbow.
Yes, I do love black bean. I've been treated to so many different colors with black bean and this particular result was absolutely beautiful. I noticed that it leaned on the more purplish side of blue and that's a perfect segue into the next video tutorial that we're going to be looking at and that is as we move on to purple on the rainbow, we are going to be looking at actually maybe one of my favorite dies or at least one that I started with and have utilized in all of my artwork and that is red cabbage. Now red cabbage, I mean check this out, it's such a vibrant purple and it has a very special quality about it and that is that I call it a color shifter. We'll talk more about that in the next video. So let's move on to that last color and see how we can make purple. If you're enjoying these videos, remember to subscribe and to hit that bell in order to be reminded every Friday of a new video. If you're new here and this is the first video that you've seen, I hope you'll check out the other videos in Cooking Color where we are exploring the rainbow of colors. And that began with red. So I'm gonna leave a link here at the end of this video to hibiscus dye, which made a vibrant magenta red, as well as to yellow onion skin, which made a really deep and gorgeous orange color. I hope you'll check those out as well, and remember to spread the good word. If you know of anyone interested in natural color, please send them my way. Let them know about ColorQuest. The more we have here, the merrier. Let's go ahead and take these beans and eat them. <laughs> 